once there were two little kittens that did not wear any mittens all they wore were coats the one yellow and the other black they both had blue blue eyes and sharp teeth and feet like cushions and scratchy claws and they were exactly the same age at first they lived on a farm where there were so many kittens that no one ever paid any attention to them they had nothing to eat but mice they had nothing to lie on but hay and worst of all they had no names at last they decided to go out into the world and seek their fortune all they wanted was a home and two pretty names they grew very tired walking over the long dusty roads but at last they spied some little white cottages nestled down among the green trees they walked right up to the very first door meow meow they cried please let us come in a cross old lady opened the door and said scat my how they ran then they walked to the second door meow meow they cried please let us come in a hobbledy old gentleman came to the door rats he said and struck at them with his cane my how they ran again they wondered whether they should try the next door at last they went up quite timidly meow meow they cried please let us come in a dear little girl opened the door mother look at the kitties she said may they come in mother nodded her head and the two little kittens marched right into the room they tried to jump on the couch they were tired and they wanted to sleep but the lady said no you are too dirty come irene we will give them a bath so they were put into a little tub and scrubbed they were dried with a soft cloth my how fluffy and puffy they looked then irene hugged them close to her heart you shall be my twins she said and your name shall be fluff and puff then the kitties purred with delight they had found a home and two pretty names they thought their troubles were ended but they had never lived in a house before they were used to the barn one day irene could not find fluff anywhere black puff was the only one on the couch when she came home puff meowed and meowed he kept looking up then irene looked up too fluff had climbed up the curtain and could not get down you'll never find milk or mice on the ceiling fluff she said after mother had gotten her down irene was knitting a pretty blue scarf one morning she laid it on the couch while she went to talk to a little friend suddenly she heard a noise scamper scamper pitter patter when she came in the twins were playing with her ball of blue wool and part of the scarf was unraveled and wound around puff's neck after she unwound the wool she locked them both in the cellar she thought that would be a dreadful punishment but they had a grand time they chased a little mouse that had left his home in the wall because he didn't think fluff caught him in the coal bin when irene brought them upstairs fluff was as black as puff they had to have another bath dear sighed irene twins are such trouble the very next day when she was writing a letter to her grandma puff jumped on her lap and spilled the ink and while she was fetching a cloth to wipe it up fluff tumbled the waste paper basket all over the floor that day she locked them in the kitchen but they got into more trouble than ever they smelled fish when irene came to the kitchen the big fish mother had bought for dinner was falling from the table and puff and fluff were having the worst fight you are bad kitties she cried and she whipped them then she put them out of the house and shut the door although her heart hurt frightfully i must train them she said fluff looked at puff puff looked at fluff meow meow fluff said we have been turned from our home meow meow answered puff we must go back to the farm when irene looked for them at dinner time they were gone she looked everywhere but the twins were not to be found she called them until her throat ached 
Here, Puff, here, Fluff. But no kitties came running. Then she was very sad. Oh, dear, dear, she said. They have run away because I punished them. Then Daddy came home. Oh, Daddy, Irene cried. My twins have run away. We must go and find them. So right after dinner, Daddy got out the big car. Soon they were way, way out in the country. The sun was going down behind the hills. Oh, sobbed Irene, I am afraid they are lost. Suddenly, Daddy stopped the car with a jerk. He had almost run over the twin kitties. Irene jumped out and picked them up. Soon Puff and Fluff were on their way back home. They were very happy to be cuddled in Irene's arms. She held them very close. Dear kitties, she said, you must take your punishments bravely. If I did not correct your faults when you are kittens, you would grow up into bad cats. Fluff and Puff rolled up into two little balls. They were so happy that they had such a nice, kind mistress, and yet forgave them so readily that they purred louder than the engine. When they reached home, Irene laid them tenderly on the pretty couch. Then she went up to bed. Fluff and Puff did not go to sleep at once. They lay awake planning to show their gratitude to their nice, kind little girl mother. Meow, said Fluff. She took us in when no one else would look at us and gave us a home. Mew, answered Puff, and she has taught us how to act in a pretty home like this. We were not well trained when we came here. Purr, continued Fluff in a bit softer tone. If she hadn't loved us a lot, she would never have searched for us. And we'd be back in the cold, cold barn, purred Puff, cuddling down in the warm cushion. From now on, we must be very, very good, said Fluff sleepily. We must be very, very good, purred Puff softly. Then his head fell over on Fluff's back. They were both fast asleep. Scratchy. Scratchy. Claw. Claw. Hey. Hey. Seek. Seek. Fortune. Fortune. Nestle. Nestle. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Cane. Cane. Timidly. Timidly. Nod. Nod. Couch. Couch. Tub. Tub. Scrubbed. Scrubbed. Cloth. Cloth. Barn.
barn find find get get scamper scamper unravel unravel wound wound unwind unwind dreadful dreadful punishment punishment grand grand chase chase coal coal sigh sigh lap lap wipe wipe tumble tumble whipped whipped frightfully frightfully sob sob Cuddle. Cuddle. Arm. Arm. Fault. Fault. Roll. Roll. Mistress. Mistress. Readily. Readily. Tenderly. Tenderly. Plan. Plan. Gratitude. Gratitude. Tone. Tone. Sleepily. Sleepily. Cellar. Cellar. 
Seller. Thank you.